Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to teach you a servo controlled infrared scanning system. This scanning system will scan 0 to 180 degree area and if any object detected between this area it will give you alarm also it will give you the angle information where the object is detected. This project based on the IR reflective sensor interface and servo motor interface. So if you have not seen the earlier video, please go through the earlier two video so it will be easy for you. So let's start the video. Let's discuss about the hardware connection. Here we have taken the infrared obstacle sensor module and we have connected VCC to the V in terminal. You can connect to the plus 5 volt also and ground to ground and the output of this IR sensor is connected to pin number 2. So we, we have to configure pin number 2 as an input port as it will receive the signal from the obstacle sensor. And as servo motor concern, in servo motor we have to connect the servo motor input terminal or output terminal to the pin number 9 of the Arduino pin. So as the discussed earlier view tutorial, we have used pin number 9 for the servo motor interface. We have also connected a LED in parallel with the buzzer so we can get a audio visual information and this buzzer and LED is connected to pin number 13 of the Arduino pin. So this pin also we have to make to the output pin. And finally we are going to mount the entire setup in a platform and we have, we have pasted this platform using the both side tape. So we have assembled the entire system in a platform. Now let's discuss the software part in the Arduino platform. As in this project we are going to use the servo motor. So at the initial we have to add or include servo.h header file and servo and my servo constraint. Here we have to declare a variable that is called POS which will hold the angular information of the servo which is initially assigned to 0. In this project setup we have one inputs, one input pins that is from the infrared sensor and two outputs pin which are going for one for the servo another for the buzzer. So we have to configure pin number 2 as an input pin because we have connected the output of the IR sensor to Arduino via pin number 2. Same way for audio visual information we have chosen pin number 13 as an output pin. So we have connected the buzzer and, and LED with pin number 13. So pin number 2 will be as a, used as an input and pin number 13 will be as, used as an output. And though we have attached the input of the servo motor to the pin number 9, so you have to write this instruction my servo dot attach in bracket 9. If you are using any other PWM pins, you can assign accordingly. Coming to the body of the program, here we have used a for loop which will vary from 0 to 180 because we need to scan the servo motor from 0 to 180 degree. So the for loop will change the value of i from 0 to 180 and my servo dot write in bracket i will execute the functions which will take the servo from 0, 1, 2 up to 180 in an increment factor of 1. After that we have inserted one delay of 10 seconds to avoid any uh, mismatch timing between the electronic system and mechanical systems. Next we will be scanning the or reading the input of the uh, input in the pin number 2 from the IR sensor. IR sensor output is connected to pin number 2. So we have written sensor equal to digital read pin number 2. So here you are reading the pin number 2 whether the obstacle is there or not. And next instruction is if sensor equal equal to 0 that means if obstacle is there. If there is obstacle in the IR sensor the output of the IR sensor is become 0. So you, we are examining if sensor equal equal to 0 what have to do. First we have made the digital write pin number 13 high 
it will trigger the alarm and it will trigger the alarm and it will uh, turn on the LED and it will be for 5 seconds you can vary according to your requirement. So for 5 seconds it will give you alarm when there is obstacle detected and then we have uh, switch off the buzzer and then we have gone for the other loop. So forward part is over forward path from 0 degree to 180 degree shifting is over now we have to scan from 180 degree to 0 degree for that again we have connected a loop for loop now loop will vary from 180 degree to 0 degree with the decrement factor of 1 degree and here this is a delay again we have provided to mismatch the uh, delay between the mechanical and electronic systems and finally the particular angle will be written. But here we have not inserted the obstacle sensor part. Now we have to add it here. So what we can do, we just we can just copy from here to here up to the first brace part. That means whenever obstacle detected, whenever obstacle detects, what does it do? We just copy the particular part and we can copy after this some my sandbo write instruction so now we will copy the entire say ir sensor reading instructions from these four lines including the buzzer triggering and switch off we will copy and paste after the my servo dot right i angle so this is the this will also provide the alarm whenever in the coming back path that means from 180 to 0 as you can see scanner is scanning from 0 to 180 degree now it can detect the obstacle in both the path either returning path or it can be from 0 to 180 degree shifting path also this is a one path alarm detections obstacle detections now i will give the another path for returning also it can detect so in this way we can make the obstacle scanning sensor we can improve the system more to display the detection angle of the ir sensor to do that modification of displaying the angle we have just written three instructions first in setup we have set the baud rate equal to 9600 second in the 0 to 180 degree loop we have given one instruction whenever obstacle detected it prints the i value of i because i is carrying the angle information of the servo in the returning path also we have added the same instruction this is the returning path here also we have written the same instruction cl print ln i it is also printing the angle in the returning path. So let us see the demonstration. Yeah, means now I am in serial monitor whenever obstacle detected you just see it shows the 180 degree angle. Now if I go beyond that little bit here this side 79 degree if I go that side near about 170 degree. 160 degree. Now we will see if you keep the two object in its scanning path what does it do. So I have taken two objects and I will place it in two different angle and we will see what happens. Now let us start I have kept two object different angle. The first object detected at 96 degree until unless I remove it it will not go further. So when I remove the first obstacle, the second obstacle detected and again if I remove the second obstacle, it starts scanning. So I think you have enjoyed the watching video. Thank you for watching.